Hey guys! We've been having a lot of new students and I just wanted to give you guys six quick tips that will help you get better at dancing faster and enjoy the journey a little bit more. So the first tip is to learn the vocabulary of dancing. A lot of people come to class and they learn the basic techniques and they leave learning know how to do the right hand turn and the cross body lead but they can't verbalize what these things are. So when I ask them a week, uh, a week later, please do a cross body lead, they can't do it. Not because they don't remember the maneuver, but because they don't remember the vocabulary to describe the moves. So when you're learning any dance, it's very important to learn the vocabulary that goes with the dance because as you progress, uh, everything builds off each other. In salsa, there's only three techniques, and those techniques are the right hand turn, the cross body lead, and the open break. Once you learn that there's only three techniques, and everything is a variation of those three techniques, learning salsa becomes very easy. However, so many people don't realize this, and they don't learn these basic techniques very well, and every new variation that they learn is really hard because it's like they're learning all over again every new technique instead of just changing minor things um, because they realize what part is the same as a crossbody and what part's different. So it's easy to make different variations once you learn the basic techniques. For the ladies, the ladies especially need to learn the vocabulary of salsa as well. You want to learn, uh, be able to recognize when a guy gives you a right hand turn, recognize when he gives you a cross body lead. When you recognize these things, this is how you build your confidence. You want all these moves to be so crystal clear that you can do them alone um, by yourself. Um, because when these moves, these techniques aren't clear, you're going to be dancing with a lot of uncertainty. The reason why you see people dancing with confidence and pizzazz is because they know their craft well. They can tell you exactly what a crossbody lead is step by step by step. They don't hesitate, they know. So I highly recommend to you practice your crossbody lead alone, practice your crossbody lead inside turn alone. If you can't figure out how to do those, that footwork alone, then you're not going to be able to do it fluidly with a partner. You want to have enough confidence that you can do nearly every combination alone. Tip number two. Just because you understand a salsa move doesn't mean your body can do it. What do I mean by that? That means that your body needs training in order to do complicated maneuvers. And intelligence, however smart you are, it's not going to help you dance. It's just like with other sports like basketball. Um, it doesn't matter how smart you are. If you don't train throwing baskets repetitively, you're going to throw quite a few air balls. Or tennis, for example. It doesn't matter how smart you are. If you don't train hitting the ball, you're going to miss it altogether. Well, it's the same thing with dancing. It doesn't matter uh, if you come to class once a week, if you're not training at the socials for hours a week, you're really not going to progress very quickly. So I highly recommend, in addition to class, that you're going out to socials and spending two, three, four hours a week training. And not only are socials a great place to dance, but I mean it's just fun and you get to meet a lot of people in the process. So remember, just because you intellectually understand a move doesn't mean your body can do it. You have to train your body to do it and it takes a lot of time. So be patient with yourself and be patient with your body while it's learning how to do these complex maneuvers. Tip number three, uh, social dancing. It's the best way to train. Um, a lot of people get stuck in a vicious cycle where they say, I don't want to go social dancing because I don't know enough. And they'll never get better and they never know enough because they never practice and they never go social dancing. 
um, they say, I want to meet people, but I'm scared to go to the social to meet people. I want to get a dance partner, but it's impossible to get a dance partner if you don't meet people. So they get wrapped in this loop of failure. They want certain things, and I tell them the way to get to your goals is to go social dancing. But yet they don't go. So I want to encourage you, go social dancing. You only need to know the basic step. And literally, if all you can pull off is the basic step for a four minute song, you're doing good. Don't worry about it. Do the basic step for four minutes. Get used to it. And then as you get more comfortable, add the right hand turn in there. Then when you get more comfortable, add the crossbody lead. When you go social dancing, go with goals for yourself. So for the leaders, for example, you come to class, you learn your right hand turn, your cross body lead. So when you go to the social Wednesday or Thursday, I want you to make sure that you're like mentally telling yourself, this week I'm training cross body leads, this week I'm training right hand turns. And you spend the whole evening doing those moves. And slowly by slowly, you'll get so used to it that it'll be easy for you to be adding more and more each week. So, be sure you're out social dancing. For the ladies as well, ladies, make sure you go to the socials with goals as well. You can focus on your timing, making sure you're stepping back right on the one, stepping left on the five. You can work on staying strong in the ankles, you can work on reading the hand signals your partner's giving you. So every time you go to the social, have a goal for yourself and focus your mind on what you want to accomplish. And that's how you're going to get better at Tulsa as well. Tip number five, when you're at the socials, try your best to be friendly and sociable. And what I mean by that is, again, have goals for yourself. Try to meet two new people per social. So go up, ask them to dance, ask their name, what they do, when they started dancing, making basic conversation. And if the next week you come back and greet them by name, like, hey, Harry, good to see you again. You want to dance? This is how you become part of the salsa community. So a lot of times it can be intimidating to join the salsa community because it's already in progress, it's already started, and friendships are already made and clicks are already made, it seems like, but it's your responsibility to become part of that. And the best way to do that is one person at a time. Every time you go to the social, try to introduce yourself to two people Try to remember their names, that's the hard part. And try to make sure you're um, talking with them every time you see them, learning a little bit more about them and sharing a little bit about yourself as well. And that's gonna make learning to dance uh, so much more enjoyable because my favorite part of salsa is that it's a social sport. It's a social activity. So we're doing this just as much as for exercise, as for our recreation, as for our social life. So it's a big part of all of these areas. And if you're like me, and you plan on dancing also for the rest of your life, you really need to take the time to meet your new salsa family. Also keep in mind, it's your responsibility to ask people to dance. It's your responsibility to introduce yourself. When you go out to socials, there's no, nobody that's going to welcome you. There's nobody who's per se going to ask you to dance. For example, the first one or two times that you come to the social, uh, the regulars might not even notice you because we don't know whether you're here to stay or just passing through. We don't know if you know how to dance. So the first one or two times you come, regulars really probably won't notice you. And it's not that they're being rude, it's just that we know so many people and we kind of stick with who we know. But as you keep coming regularly, you become a regular face. And then naturally, just 
through the process of you introducing yourself to your two people a day, they'll finally start recognizing you as a regular, and that's how you become part of the community. It doesn't happen all overnight. You need to keep coming back, and you need to keep working on it. So I always recommend that you're working on your dance skills and your social skills at the same time. And our sixth and final tip, you are going to make mistakes. Don't worry about it. And I will say that again, because a lot of times people don't believe me. I 100% guarantee that you are going to make mistakes on the social dance floor. Don't worry about it, all right? A lot of times, even while we're dancing at parties, people will say, I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to make a mistake. I'm like, of course you don't want to make a mistake. I 100% guarantee that you're going to make a mistake, so don't worry about it. There's no reason to worry about something that is guaranteed to happen. Now is there? So just focus on uh, working on the things you planned on. Focus on conversating, talking with me a little bit, making sure we're enjoying the music, enjoying our time together. And that's it. Making a mistake on the social dance floor is no more serious than making a typo in a text message. It might get a laugh sometimes, <laughs> but there's no need to do a big long letter of apology for a typo, for example. So it's the same with any dance mistakes. Unless you're like elbowing people or injuring somebody. No need to make a big apology. You could say, oops, sorry, my bad. Or you could say nothing at all. It's perfectly okay. But just keep it moving. Don't stop dancing. Uh, keep on going to the end of the song. And don't get frustrated. Again, everybody makes mistakes, me included. So it's perfectly natural that you're going to make a mistake as well and don't worry about it. It's okay. Relax, guys. But that's everything for this week, guys. So I hope you got something out of that. And remember, keep dancing. It's fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.